Oh, look at him. Oh, got him. Yep. Well, boys, how are we all getting on? And welcome back to another video now. Uh, I've just changed up the camera angle a bit. I think I like this bit better. You can see me more the baits, boxes, you can see everything. Just to make it a bit better because you can see the light better and all this at me. Anyway, today's video is on some really, really fun fishing I was doing at Loch Cool. Now, it's not onto the abandoned house, which I'm kind of happy about because, well, because it's kind of getting boring. But it's not like bad. It's just like I need a little bit of a break from it. So anyway, trout season has started and when I filmed the video of me catching 22 perch under the house of worms, those two lads I ran into who said they caught two trout. Did they uh, caught anything? Uh, caught two trout. Two trout? They were fishing the main lake. Which kind of had me surprised because that main lake at the deepest point is only like four or five feet. And they saw the two fish they caught and they were a good size. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give this a go. So I got all my trout tackle that I normally use for Darymore Springs. And I said, I'm going to tie it onto my normal setup and try and catch a few trout. Now this was very fun for me because this was something I have never tried. Now I've never actually properly gave this a good go. I've tried it last year, but it didn't really work out. So this was something completely new and it was like, it sparked interest. So I went down the next day using a spinner first. And when I arrived, I saw several fish surfacing, like a good distance in front of me. But because I was using a spinner, which wasn't really good for distance, I couldn't reach them. And I knew that if I could get it just in front of them, not on top of them, just in front of them, they would follow it and hit it. I'm going to change it up. So I was like, okay, I have to change. So I went to a Tasmanian Devil in red and black. And the great thing about Tasmanian Devil is it absolutely launches. Like that thing was able to go three times the distance as the spinner. So I knew I was able to reach the fish. It's just I had to wait for them to come up again. There, surfs. Nipped it. Did you see that he followed it the whole way in? That was so cool. Oh boy, that was so cool. The fish nipped the back of it and then he followed it right up to me feet. It's in front of me. Tasmanian. It's not big, I don't think. Anyway, we got a fish. Yeah, nice fish. Alright. Nice little brownie. Alright, it's okay. Ah, you follow it. Oh, he went to the nest. Alright. That's a nice fish there. Quality little brownie. Lovely fish. Ooh. Little brown trout. Do you want to hold him? Yeah. Okay. We release him there. Oh. Slimy, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh. I never held a fish before. Really? Geez, you were good with it. Alright. Well, uh, whilst I was going to release that fish, a young girl did come up to me. And uh, she was actually a really, really good help because she was kind of like my third eye. Because obviously, it's a big lake. I can't see the whole lake in just a swing. So I was kind of focused on the left while she was kind of focused on the right. And we were kind of looking out for our fish. Watch out for them now, they might come back. And we saw another shoal of fish at the distance. And it was just a waiting game of them coming close. Okay, well, I'll show you some that side there. Oh, oh no, missed him. You have something? Yeah, I had one there. Oh, oh, look at him, look at him, oh, look at him. God, fucking hell. Did you see that? Yeah. He followed the whole... Was that a fish? That was a fish. Yeah. Holy. 
Oh, look at him. No. Oh, he's gone for it. Jeez, that is so cool. Wow. Oh Jesus, that was something. Jesus Christ, he's gone mad. Yeah, you're gonna net him for me. <laughs> oh Jesus, that was something. Oh, he's already That's small. another brown fish. It is, yeah, Jesus, you're good with your species. Are you gonna release him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus, that was something. You see what I mean? He came right up now. Oh, he's bigger. Careful now, that net, that net has a hole in it, so when I yeah. say lift it now, you have to push it onto the shore. Careful. There we go. Right, lovely, lovely. Thank you. Jeez, that's not bad. Ooh. Oh, right in the chin. Right in the chin is already. Sure. Trying to release them there. Yeah. It's still weird. That's can lovely. I release the next one? Yeah, you can. Oh yeah. It's going away from. I'm going away from the surface again. And I'll, I'll wick. Oh, oh yeah. Oh oh yeah, he hit it. He missed it. Coming for it. Oh, he missed him again. You'll see him follow it. No! Oh, no! He's coming back to it. It just scares me like You have to whack it hard on them. Yeah, and you have to kind of Oh, look at him. Oh! Gone! Yep! Oh, this is so cool. Can I release it? Yeah, you can, yeah. Jeez, we got three trout and like. Can I release that? Hold on, let him play it. Let him play it a little bit. Oh, he's, he's not even hooked in the mouth. He's hooked in the fin, yeah. Got lucky with him. Jeez, you got three fish in 15 minutes already. Uh, I can flip him, I think that'll be alright. Oh my oh. god! He's alright. He's, He's a nice man. Next time I forgot to order. Oh yeah, they're Where? all there, yeah, look yeah. at them. They are coming they're much. Coming close. Oh, there's another one there, sorry. There's one right there. Oh, he missed it, he missed it. Oh, come on. He's following it. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's good. Look at him. That's good. That's no. Good. Whoa, that was a Alright, is he going to come back? No, I think he hit and he was like, no. Eventually the two kids had to go, and the fish just didn't seem to show themselves for a solid 20 minutes. Okay, that's up there. He's kind of moving away. Oh, and I'm in his range. Got him. Fish on. There we go. Got him. I think I'll just flip him in. Number four. Jeez. All right, not bad. Nice little brownie, nice female. He's away. After seeing how successful this session was, I wanted to go back because that was so much fun. So I, I went down the next day again, but the conditions were very different. It was extremely bright and it was a weekend, so there was a lot of people there. Oh, it's shallow as well. At first I thought if I get one fish, this is going to be a miracle. Because first of all, that water is crystal clear, it's only a couple of feet, the sun is blazing down, the fish aren't going to run us rise. But to my surprise, just like yesterday, the fish were just coming closer, rising for flies. So after that very promising start, which gave me a lot of confidence, it just went quiet again. 
for like a solid 30 minutes, which is kind of what I expected. So like yesterday, my plan was to move around the lake. Oh, they've been gone for a while now. It's been about 15, 20 minutes, they haven't shown themselves. Oh yeah, I see her. Oh yeah, one rise down there. All right, I'll explore for a bit. That was amazing. Not a bad one. Here he is. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, Roshi. Lovely, yeah, just caught him right by the bank. Let's get the hook. He's after swallowing the hook, unfortunately. Lovely one. Oh, off he goes. Put him back, oh yeah. About four of them followed it in there now and then that kind of just hit it right there, right yeah. by the shore. That was insane. To see those shoal of, I think there were four or five fish, just follow the Tasmanian in up to water, not even that deep there, was just mad. Like, they were so shallow, you could literally see their fins breaching out of the water as they're trying to smack it, and they went for it like three times. After that, an hour of just no fish. Like, they had this pattern where they would come up for a short amount of time, then they would just disappear for a while. And after seeing this, I was like, okay, I need to move again. So I went back to the original spot, and I waited there for another little while, and a fish did eventually rise. Where? Oh, I got bit. Oh, he'll follow it. Watch, watch, watch. Where is he? Look at him. Oh. oh, no. Oh, I didn't think that would happen. It's just to let people know around the crossings, I'd say. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Oh, no, it's snagged. Now that was a horrible note to be ending on, so I was like, no, I'm going to go to the tackle shop the next day and I'm going to buy some new Tasmanian Devils, which I bought loads of. I bought the same red and black Tasmanian Devil, but I also bought a few other ones, one of them being, I think, a rare colour, because I've never seen this before. It's a lovely colour. I was like, okay, I'm going to end off this video on a high note, and I'm going to go down that evening and we're going to catch a fish. Now the evening was beautiful. It was such a bright sunset. And I was like, this is a perfect scenario for me to end off on. Back at Lakul. I couldn't leave on a note like that, so I've come back with new Tasmanians and we're going to try again. Hoping for one bite. And that start was so promising, but then it just went silent for an hour. And I was down to the, like, the last 10 minutes of fishing, and I was like losing hope, like nothing else was going to happen. But either way, I've already caught one. But then I saw something rise in the distance. Oh, 
Double power. Hey boys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Hey boys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another.